Okay, I want to continue now with describing uh, some of the Quick Course features. Uh, I've started with the opening screen display of Quick Course. Uh, when you click on your desktop icon, this should be what your first display looks like. And of course, uh, you can read our terms of use and click the I agree. Uh, in our last recording video, then, we looked at downloading free data. So this is, uh, again, a pathway to the free data. At any time, you can start using pay data uh, by clicking here. So if you've, you've purchased data, you can start using it. But after that time that you start using the pay data, then you will be uh, limited. You will not be able to download free race programs any longer. So when we left off, we had chosen to handicap. We had downloaded a couple months worth of Charlestown races, and we selected the race card list for Charlestown, and we had decided to choose the um, July 25th. Today is July 27th, 2013, as I do this, and we did the first recording yesterday. And um, I had left off with this display. So if you want to review how to download data, you just need to look at the link in the web page where you clicked uh, to find this, uh, this video, and you'll be able to go to that video learn how to download. So now we're on a handicapping screen. This is one of several methods of handicapping you can use. And the thing with Quick Horse is, you know, not all handicapping methods will work well for for all tracks. So the the key is to select a track that you like to play and experiment with the very various handicapping methods and see which ones work work best. Um, notice now for the first time you've now got a menu bar at the top of the window. The only time this this menu bar appears is while you're handicapping. A race program. As soon as you select a feature, suppose we want to see what the results look like for this race. So we go down here to the bottom, this, this large button, and we click on this. As soon as you select a feature, you'll see that the menu bar disappears. And it clearly says, menu bar is not available now. Please use the interactive buttons. Okay, here are your buttons. All right. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this display. You can try clicking these buttons to see what they do. I'm just showing you the various features that are available from the handicap screen. Now, now I'm going to tell you about, we've talked about clicking the left mouse button. Now we're going to talk about clicking the right mouse button. As it says here, press the right mouse button to exit this page. Typically, when you select a feature and you start delving into that feature, you can back out of that feature simply by pressing the right mouse button, which is what I'm going to do now. Notice that we're back to where we were. Uh, let's look at another feature, set method filters. Again, I'm not going to talk about method filters, but I'll just say that you're into a feature, there's no menu bar, and you can right click to exit the feature. So there's no reason for you not to select these features, you're not really hurting the software at all. Um, here's another one. Here's another button. Select race. Okay. Uh, it displays the uh, conditions for the various races, how many in a field. You know, if you like to play uh, shorter field races, then maybe you want to go to race seven. So you click on race seven and you could, you could have race seven come up. Now we're on race seven. Select the race again. Let's go back to race one. All right, so it's just it's just that easy to select a race. Uh, I'm not going to get into what this particular handicapping method does. However, if you want to read about how this method works, how these final scores, notice that number number six is the is the top pick here. It's in it's in yellow. If you want to read about this method, the best way to do that is uh, to press the um, press the right or I'm sorry press the F1 key on your keyboard the F1 key is up in the uh, top left corner of your keyboard um, and that will typically take you to our online help uh, process 
that will uh, give you words and pictures and describe to you how a method works. What I'm going to do with this video is just to show you generally what some of these buttons do. If you want to find out information, for instance, on one of these horses, say, you know, you want to look at horse number five, you just click on horse number five. And here are the past outings. Now you can see it's not all of the past outings because these say lifetime. Uh, this horse has run 11 times. At this track, it's run those 11 times, so it's always been at Charlestown. And at this particular distance, it's run seven times. And here's the win place show record. So all of its win place shows have come at this particular distance. So this horse might seem to be well suited to this distance. You want to delve into data more, just, just pick one of these past outings, and up pops even more information. And uh, you can, you know, read about the various uh, types of information, what's included here. Typically, a display is going to include a help file. So you click on a help file, and that will bring up a, a text you can read that can hopefully help you out. Now, how do we get back to where we were? We press the right mouse button because we want to exit this. And how do we get back to the handicapping screen? We can press the right mouse button. We can exit that. Um, if there were more than eight entries, which in this case there are, you can page here uh, to see the other two entries and page back. Another feature of the handicapping dis uh, display is always the sort feature. And you can sort by any one of these columns, including the rank score. So if I select sort, select the rank score which is what I usually do and now all the horses are ranked and this order should match this order down here down here always always is your selected order of finish so you can always go down here now because this race has been run and we already have the results this shows you where this horse finished so this horse we picked it first but it finished fourth Pick the second horse second, it finished second. Third pick finished fifth. Fourth pick finished first. Okay, so that kind of shows you how to do that. Um, these odds here listed wind up being the actual post time odds then for the race. If the race had not been run yet, then these would be the morning line odds. So for instance, we can go to our file menu, we can select a race program at Charlestown the race card list, click on today's race, it's the 27th, and now these are the morning line odds. Okay, So that should get you started on, um, on the handicapping screen. And there are other, other buttons to pick, and there's, there are ways by looking at your handicapping tools, there are features you can use. You can select a different method. Here are some methods you can select. Here's another way to select methods and some of the other features. Okay. And that'll bring us to the end of this of this video.